If you've ever wondered if what you're seeking to manifest is really what you should be manifesting, in other words, you're just going, oh my gosh, is this like really what's in my best interest? Is this honestly what's going to help me the most? Is this honestly like the next step for me? And I'm not sure if it's of my highest good. Boy, I've been there. I get that. So you're going to want to watch this video to the very end because I'm going to give you just about three tips, I think. We'll just do three today on how to like really navigate that process. My name is Dr. Lisa Brewer and I am a doctor of metaphysics and divinity. What does that mean? That means I cannot write your prescription, but you know what? I can recommend a real good crystal. So we're going to talk about how to do these kind of like self-evaluations, these self-tests, just to see if this is of your highest good. Now, first of all, I want you to know one thing, and this is like so important. You do actually have intuition. All of us have an intuition, like it's just ingrained in us. There's some of us who our intuition might be a little bit heightened than others, but all of us possess it. And it's just like um, a muscle. If you don't exercise it, it's not going to work right? Like you got to strengthen it. You have to acknowledge it. You've got to say, oh yeah, that's true. The other thing is your body, your, the cells in your being, remember we're all energy, right? All of us, all of us, all the time, we are energy at our base core. Even solid things are energy. So your body is actually one of the best truth tellers or lie detector tests that you could ever use. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Your body is a lie detector or a truth detector, okay? So there's various ways we can utilize our body to be a truth detector, okay? First way, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but listen, if you stand up Okay, just stand up and then just kind of be relaxed. And then you allow yourself to ask yourself some questions. Once you're relaxed, I want you to ask yourself some questions or make yourself make a statement. Okay, so say um, my name is and then say your name and just let your body kind of sway. It might sway backwards, forwards. It might sway side to side. Most of us, we sway backwards and forwards. So say about three to four true statements and just let your body kind of do what it naturally does. Don't force it, just make it, just let it do it. And then say three false statements. Let your body do what it does. Now I sway forward for true statements and backward for false statements. So I want you to do that. And then I want you to mix it up. Okay. One true, one false one until you just know this is how my body reacts. And then you know what I want you to do? I want you to say X, Y, Z, whatever it is you're manifesting is of my highest good and see what happens. You could even try the, I believe that I am X, Y, and Z. And if your body, which whatever it is you're manifesting, and if your body sways, however, it's negatively, then you don't have the belief system yet for it, right? But this is a really easy way to be able to tell whether or not something is of your highest good, right? Um, also, just like even small things. Let's do the next thing. Another thing you can do is kind of like just do like this kind of and see what kind of energy you get. So... When I say my name is Dr. Lisa, I get one, I touch these fingers, I get one like feeling, sensation. If I'm holding my fingers still just like this and I say the sky is red, my fingers actually kind of heat up a little bit. There's really no reaction from doing this and so do that. See if you get any like reference from that. Okay. See if you get anything from that I, I, as well. That's another truth detector. Sometimes I, I'll use that or the swaying technique or this last technique 
if before I make a decision, okay, before I make a decision on whether or not I'm going to be a part of a conference or a part of a summit, does this make sense? If this is making sense, leave me some comments below. Let me know if this series is helping you. Let me know how far along you've come. Let me know if you ever feel like, I'm not sure if this is the right thing to do. Leave me some comments. Let's start the conversation. Okay, anyway, the last thing that I do, literally, is when I think about a thing, I kind of sit and I get still. And I'll think about something. Maybe sometimes I'll write it down even. That I'm about to do this. Or that I want to do this. Or that this is what I'm manifesting. Or I'm about to take a step along the manifestation process. And if I get an icky feeling right here, I start to identify why. I follow peace. I follow the peace. Because when my being is in an upset state, a state of upset, a state of, of dis-ease, right? Not that I have a disease, but that I'm not at ease, then I know it's not, we're not going the way that we need to go. This ain't working right. I, you can even be on a road that has a lot of obstacles, it's a little, it's a little steep to climb, there's things going on, and, but you know you're following along the path of peace because you know that at the end of this, it's all going to be okay. Difficulty does not mean that you should turn around. Not all the time. But when you're writing stuff down, even if it's a step in the process or you're thinking about it, if you're uneasy about it at all, I want you to search out and find out why. I want you to really search yourself and listen to yourself and figure out why because that will give you some clues whether or not you really should go down that path, whether or not you should not go down that path. It'll give you clues on how you're feeling about it, if it's just a fear, right? So these are three ways that you can actually go on and use your body as a human lie detector, <laughs> our truth teller. All right, well, I hope this has helped you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, follow, all the good things, right? And I'll talk to you soon. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys so much. Namaste. And never forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you. Bye.